So this uh, Thursday afternoon, they released the NBA t All Team, mm -hmm. uh, and people uh, they voted in. And what do you, what do you guys want to start? Do you want to guys start with the All NBA Third Team, and then second and the first, or, or the first, second, and third? Yeah, let's go with third. Let's third to one. So then there's like yeah, the suspense. Like. Yeah. Okay, so the people that were picked for the All NBA Third Team was uh, Draymond Green of the Golden State Warriors, John Wall, Washington Wizards. Jimmy Butler, Chicago Bulls, DeMar DeRozan, Toronto Raptors, and Ooh. the Andre Jordan LA Clippers. Give me your thoughts on that team first. Congrats to DeMar. Congrats to DeMar. Yeah. Well Raptor earned. In the six. He played really well the season. He played well. Yeah. I like uh, Draymond. I think Draymond should be up more. Draymond? Well, but I don't know. We'll, we'll see what the second is. Okay. See the second, I, could, yeah. I, could, I could obviously be like, I wish that guy I, was I think every one of those players deserve at least the first to third. So, like, I can see, yeah, there, there's nothing, there's no one that's just voted there on no reason. Okay. I'm kind of, I'm kind of wondering who's going to get snubbed. That's what, that's what yeah. I'm like. Okay, we'll, we'll find out soon. So, the all NBA second team is Rudy Gobert of the Utah Jazz, Stephen Curry of Golden State Warriors. Giannis Antetokounmpo of the oh, Milwaukee there. Bucks, Kevin Durant of Golden State Warriors, and Isaiah Thomas of the Boston Celtics. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think? That's not bad. That's the yeah, second no, team. I think, yeah. I like, I like Antetokounmpo. I see that. Antetokounmpo, yeah. yeah, yeah that's I well, think he's that's the well most improved player. Yeah, yeah he of course. played. Even during the playoffs, he was the beast. Yeah. And let's go for the first mm -hmm. team. Uh, James Harden of the Houston Rockets. LeBron James of Cleveland Cavaliers. Russell Westbrook of Oklahoma City Thunder, Kawhi Leonard of San Antonio, and Anthony Davis for New Orleans Pelicans. Yeah. So those are your three teams. Give me your thoughts because we now now we know like who's who's on which team. Where is Paul George? Well, <laughs> let's first congrats. <laughs> the, wait, wait, yeah, yeah. Let's first congrats. Yeah. The, there goes the, congrats the players that's gonna get the max deal now because of like, there's a rule in terms of NBA now mm -hmm. in terms of if you are able to make it to all, uh, the first uh, first to third all, all NBA you're eligible for that max contract so a couple of players that are eligible for the max contract is Russell so congrats mm -hmm. and Steph because now they're eligible to I think 200 the max is like 210 207 million dollars I'm looking to Steph to actually yeah. get a max contract because so he's going to be a free agent yeah, soon. This, uh, Russell Westbrook already yeah, resigned. After, yeah, and he, he will be eligible for that. And I think it's time for him to get that too because he's been making way under where his value really is because of that, uh, that contract that he signed before his injury. So Nice for bringing up yeah. Paul George because Paul George, he got snubbed. Uh, and also Gordon Haywood. And two players yeah. that and are both actually, of them And both yeah. of them speak on what Marky Mark's yeah. point. They are not eligible for a max contract. So... Yeah. That Dang. does. So they lost it, money. Not they lost it, some, they but not a lot. They are contract in terms of the money that they're losing because they didn't make it to the all star, the all NBA team. That's the money that they lose. It's kind of like the Demarcus Cousin kind of situation where he lost a lot of money because he was traded from Sacramento Kings, so he's not able to sign that max contract deal mm -hmm. where the same team that drafted him or that he played for a certain number of years. But two players that have played really well in the postseason is Hayward and Paul George. I thought they were snubbed, but. But uh, he, James Harden actually, um, he only, he got 100 votes. 100 votes. He's the only player in, I think, NBA history that got 100 votes to be on the all-NBA first team. Mm -hmm. And but do you guys think that's going to be, uh, you know, a conversation to make, uh, having him being the MVP or Russell Westbrook being MVP? Because Russell Westbrook got, like, 99 votes. Mm -hmm. Well, um, it's a regular season and, uh, award. And both of them played the best regular season performance. Like in terms of regular season performance, both of them really play outplayed anyone else, right? As good as James is, both of them really played more than like what they should. You know, they've carried their team more than anyone else in the league right now. So I think if James gets it or James Harden gets it, I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised. And if Russell gets it, I wouldn't be surprised either. But don't take into account the performances that they did in the playoffs. As, mm -hmm. as poorly as Russell played and as you know, controversial James Harden played in that last game, I don't think people should take that into account because it's a it was, regular season. It's pretty good that James Harden got 100 votes. So it's like no, <laughs> yeah. one, no one has never he done was that before. Really, both of them, performance-wise, efficiency-wise, I'll lean more on James Harden. But Russell Westbrook doing all that crazy things like triple-double and like buzzer beaters and just doing all these things throughout the season that so quickly let's just go around the around here james harden or russell westbrook uh russell westbrook james harden, russell westbrook. I'm james harden for mvp i'm james harden